Now you've successfully set up Entourage, it's time to explore how to use its powerful features to make your flight simulation feel more alive than ever. Entourage is packed with a suite of AI-driven assistants designed to enhance every aspect of your virtual flights, creating a dynamic, immersive experience that mirrors real-world aviation. Whether you're engaging with cabin crews, getting expert advice from a mentor, or following guided taxi paths, Entourage makes sure you're never flying alone. Let's just quickly check our settings, which we talked about last time. We switched on live multiplayer proximity to hear anyone that's around us right now, and pre-recorded multiplayer proximity to hear people that have been here in the past on this frequency. And now the intercom settings. You'll see we've set up Sarah, the tour guide, on channel 1 in the intercom, and that's the choices in the drop-down box there. And in channel 2, we've set up Millie Skybound as our mentor for this flight. Just checking our push to talk switches are all set, and let's go. The first thing we do is to hit new flight. Wait a few seconds, and then say intentions will kick into life. If you look at the top of the screen, it now says sim brief and shows us we're at Bristol Airport. That means it knows where we are and it's picked up our sim brief flight plan. That's one of the features of Entourage, that it seamlessly integrates with SimBrief. When you start a new flight in Entourage, your SimBrief flight plan is automatically imported into the AI context engine. That means that all of your AI assistants, from the cabin crew to the flight mentor, have real-time access to your flight plan details. This integration ensures that the AI's interactions with you are always relevant and contextually accurate. For example, your cabin crew will announce your destination based on your SimBrief flight plan, and the guided taxi system will help you navigate from your gate to the departure runway you've filed in the plan. We'll see that later. This level of automation makes it incredibly easy to start flying without manually entering data, and it enhances the realism of the entire flight. One of the standout features of Entourage is its realistic AI-driven radio chatter, sourced from the SayIntentions.ai Premium ATC network. But this isn't just generic background noise, it's fully contextual chatter specific to your aircraft's location, frequency and nearby airport. As you change radio frequencies during your flight, the AI system adapts instantly, reflecting what you'd hear in the real world. For example, flying near a busy international hub will sound completely different from maybe cruising over a remote airstrip, bringing a sense of vibrant life to your simulation. You'll hear ATC communications from other pilots, announcements and instructions, creating an immersive soundscape that changes dynamically as your environment changes. So whether you're ascending into crowded airspace or approaching a quieter destination, the chatter evolves, ensuring the skies around you are as alive as they should be. So let's hear some real-world examples of this. We're at Bristol Airport in the west of the UK. Let's tune in to Bristol Ground and hear some people who've been on that frequency in this very location. Easy 72 Foxtrot Yankee, push and start approved. Push and start approved, Easy 72 Foxtrot Yankee. Ryan and Mike Tango Foxtrot is IFR to Belfast with information November ready to copy. At 713 Bristol, clearance information, Quebec is correct. Cleared to Barcelona Aerodrome via the Exima 1Z departure, then as filed. Departure runway 27, initial climb to 4,000 feet. Departure on 125 decimal 65 squawk 6556. Let's try somewhere else. We've moved to Southampton in the south of the UK, filed our SIM brief flight plan, and tuned to Southampton Tower. Golf Delta Echo, Roger report left downwind for runway 2. We'll report. Left downwind for runway 02, Golf Delta Echo. So let's now show you some other features. We've moved to Innsbruck in Austria. We filed a Simbri flight plan to Vienna for a short flight in the Cirrus SR22, where we're going to show off some of the features of Entourage. We're parked on the ramp and ready to go. So let's start by tuning in Innsbruck Tower frequency. Innsbruck Tower, Austrian 3 4 Charlie, good afternoon. Uh, information Golf, uh, we request uh, IFR clearance to Vienna. Contact in the box. Remember, Mike, Mike, three. Bye bye. Tell 7 Papa Bravo information Oscar is correct. Clear to Rotterdam Airport. After departure, fly radar vectors to Mogte, then as filed. And so to our next feature the guided taxi system. Navigating complex airports has never been easier thanks to Entourage's guided taxi system. 
powered by real-world taxi data, this feature generates glowing arrows on the ground, or lights if you choose, guiding you along the most accurate and realistic path to your departure runway or assigned gate. It isn't just guesswork, Entourage is using your SimBrief flight plan to determine the correct taxi route, ensuring that it matches the real-world charts and the specific scenery you've installed. After landing, the system updates automatically, calculating a new path to guide you to your gate, helping you to avoid the confusion of navigating large, busy airports. Whether you're taxiing for takeoff or landing, this feature adds a level of precision and convenience that keeps the experience as close to real-world aviation as possible. You can change the colour and the shape of your taxi assist lights by going into the pilot portal seen here. Let's change them to light yellow, hit submit, and voila, they're yellow lights rather than green arrows. So let's taxi out to the runway and get airborne. And you can see quite clearly the yellow taxi lights that we've generated from the Simbri flight plan leading us to the correct runway at Innsbruck. And so to our next feature, the AI Tour Guides. When you're flying to new destinations, one of the most enjoyable features Entourage offers is the AI Tour Guides. These AI assistants provide insightful and engaging narratives about points of interest along your route, bringing your journey to life in a way that's both educational and entertaining. If you're curious about a landmark you're flying over, simply ask the tour guide. The AI will provide real-time responses based on your location automatically, sharing everything from historical facts to fun anecdotes. This feature truly makes you feel like you're not just flying from point A to point B, but exploring the world from above with a knowledgeable companion who knows your surroundings as well as you know your aircraft. Our tour guide as we head out of Innsbruck is Sarah, who certainly knows her stuff. Let's ask her some questions. Sarah, can you tell us something about Innsbruck, where we've just departed from? Innsbruck, the capital of Tyrol, is known for its stunning alpine scenery and rich history. Founded in the 12th century, it became a significant trade route due to its location. The city is famous for its winter sports, having hosted the Winter Olympics twice. Thank you. Uh, can you describe some interesting things in the local area we're flying through? At our one o'clock position, about 10 miles out, you can see the beautiful Plansee, a stunning lake nestled between the mountains. It's known for its crystal clear waters and is a popular spot for swimming, sailing and fishing. The AI Mentor is perhaps one of the most powerful tools in Entourage, especially for simmers looking to deepen their knowledge of aviation. You can think of them as your personal real-time instructor who knows pretty much everything there is about flying and any aircraft that you're in. Whether you need help understanding complex systems in a specific plane or learning advanced flight procedures, the AI Mentor is there to help you. Let's first of all ask our AI Mentor Millie about the Cirrus SR22 we're flying in right now. Millie, we're traveling in a Cirrus SR22. It uses a constant speed propeller. Can you explain that to me? Absolutely. A constant speed propeller automatically adjusts its blade angle to maintain a set RPM, optimizing performance during different phases of flight. For example, during climb, the blades may pitch to a finer angle to increase thrust. While in cruise, they adjust to a coarser angle to reduce drag. This helps improve fuel efficiency and overall performance. You're doing great, keep it up. And I think another interesting thing about the Cirrus is it has a BRS parachute. What is that? Great observation. The Cirrus SR22 is equipped with a ballistic recovery system, BRS, which is a parachute designed to safely bring the entire aircraft down in the event of an emergency. It can be deployed at any altitude, providing an additional layer of safety. Just pull the handle and the parachute deploys, slowing your descent significantly. It's a fantastic feature that enhances safety for both the pilot and passengers. And so to the AI cabin crews in Entourage, which add a layer of immersion that transforms your simulation into a true airline experience. These crew members interact with passengers and you and make in-flight announcements based on your flight's progress. Uh, for example, during taxiing, they'll announce safety procedures and as you reach cruise, they'll inform passengers about the flight time and weather conditions at your destination. Uh, the magic here is that all of this is driven by your Simbri flight plan, so the AI know exactly when and what to say. And what's more, you can manually ask the cabin crew to make specific announcements or handle certain tasks through the intercom system. 
Whether it's asking them to prepare for landing or respond to passenger requests, the AI cabin crew is at your command. There are many crews to choose from, from the funny, the outright hilarious, to the very serious. Let's go with one of the more serious ones and my favourite, Erica, as we do a flight in a Boeing 737 from Bristol. First thing to note here is that we've done our sim brief flight plan with departure, destination and aircraft type as we would normally. That's then picked up by all of the AI, including the cabin crew. Before Erica starts her normal announcements, let's make a request to her. Erica, can you tell the passengers, please, that we'll be pushing back from the stand in about two minutes? Ladies and gentlemen, we will be pushing back in approximately two minutes. Please ensure that your seatbelts are fastened and all carry-on luggage is securely stowed. Thank you for your attention. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our flight to Liverpool. My name is Erica and I am your lead flight attendant today. Joining me in the cabin are my fellow crew members, Sarah, Tom and Lisa. We are delighted to have you with us. The captain for this flight is Bill and the first officer is Harold Lynn. We are currently pushing back and will be in the air shortly. Please ensure that your seatbelts are securely fastened and your seat backs and tray tables are in their upright positions. All carry-on luggage should be stowed in the overhead bins or under the seat in front of you. The estimated flight time to Liverpool is approximately 39 minutes. We will keep you updated on our progress and we appreciate your cooperation. Thank you for choosing to fly with us today. As we taxi out here, you'll see the yellow taxi arrows which have been generated from our new Simbri flight plan to guide us safely to the threshold of runway 27 at Bristol. Cabin crew, prepare for takeoff. Cabin crew, take seats for departure. Erica, can you tell the passengers it may be a little turbulent on departure? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to inform you that there may be a little turbulence during our departure. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until we are safely airborne. Thank you for your understanding. We're airborne and passing 10,000 feet. Over to Erica. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now at a safe altitude and you are welcome to use your electronic devices. Additionally, our onboard Wi-Fi service is now available. Thank you. Fancy a cup of coffee in flight? No problem, just ask the cabin crew. Erica, can you bring a cup of black coffee to the cockpit, please? Thank you. Understood, Captain. I will bring a cup of black coffee to the cockpit shortly. And before we finish this tutorial, let's see just how clever the mentors are. Let's try Millie out on some pretty tricky 737-800 questions. Millie, good afternoon. I'd like to learn a little more about the uh, Boeing 737. Why is it that some 737-800s land with flaps 30 and some with flaps 40? Good afternoon. The difference in flap settings for landing the Boeing 737, 800 often comes down to weight, runway length and environmental conditions. Flaps 30 is typically used for normal landings, while flaps 40 provides additional lift and drag, which is beneficial for shorter runways or when landing in gusty winds. It's all about optimizing performance for the specific situation. Keep up the great work. Okay, what about a really obscure one? Billy, I'm just looking at the FMC here in the 737. I've noticed a page I've never seen before, RTA Progress. What is that? The RTA, or Required Time of Arrival Progress page on the FMC, helps you manage your arrival time at a waypoint. It calculates the time you need to reach specific points along your route, allowing you to adjust your speed or altitude to meet your planned arrival time. It's a great tool for optimizing your descent and approach. Keep exploring those systems. And that's the end of our tutorial for now, getting the most out of entourage during your flight simulation. By combining realistic AI interaction, seamless sim brief integration, and advanced features like radio chatter and guided taxiing, Entourage offers an unparalleled level of immersion. And with upcoming updates like ramp agents and ground crews on the horizon, your virtual flight experience is only going to get better. Thanks for watching and enjoy your enhanced flight simulation with sayintentions.ai Entourage.